Hey there and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over Leonardo AI's Canvas 2.0 update. This is a major step up for the Canvas tool in general for Leonardo AI. It's crazy how many great features this has, so let's go over them in this video. So if I go to my personal feed, I can actually find an existing image of mine like this one. We can click on the three dots and go straight into Edit and Canvas. You can simply import photos and images from your computer by importing an image that way. Let's start with the basics with working for an image. I can either choose one for the community or actually just choose one of my older generations or even upload from my computer. So I'm going to go with the selections. As you can see, these are a bunch of different generations that I've made in previous videos. I can move these images around, select this, and just edit it however I wish. I have many different options here, but let's take a look at some of these uses and export some of these tools. I can take this image, move it around, size it down, zoom it back in, etc. So I'm just going to move it off the canvas because I want to erase what's around the outside edges of this image. If I do it like this, it'll erase both of these images, so I need to use the eraser tool. I can make it pretty big and just clean up the edges around this image. And I can even shrink it down and zoom it a little bit more just to fine tune how I want it to look. Then I can just erase the background and get the AI to fill it in or even mask the background itself. So instead of removing all of these things, the AI algorithm will just adjust. So I can just use this to select the area and then hit generate. As you can see, it fills in automatically and we can blend images together this way. You can also feel free to redo and continue to undo all changes you make while editing these images. I can still click, unlock, move it around, and even hit accept or cancel once I'm happy with the changes. I can even remove some of the mask by clicking on these areas, hitting the delete button, and we can start again from scratch. So let's try selecting a bit of area here, grab my eraser tool and just remove a chunk of this. I've got dream shape turned on pretty high here and my impact strength all the way up to one. Then let's try typing in something like mythical temple and hit generate. And wow, it'll actually pop a temple right there where we've selected, which is a really cool feature as well. Now another cool feature about Canvas 2.0 though is its ability to get rid of everything. So there's Canvas mode and let's check it out. We have the in paint and out paint option selected right now. But there's also the text to image and create an image option. I can even use the image to image or sketched image option as well. So let's try text to image first. We can bump this up to let's say 1024 by 768. Then make sure you've got Dream Shaper on. So I can also turn on Alchemy and Prompt Magic. So here, let's try asking it for a powerful wizard. Let me hit Generate, zoom in a bit, and there are a ton of options we can go with this step. So we've been able to generate this image beautifully. The image generations and dimensions are chosen here, and you can do a little bit more fine tuning with Control Net. You can also just generate images straight in here as you would with the image generator. And of course, you can easily switch from text image here to in paint, out paint again. Now let's make a new window and make it smaller, 512 by 512. I'll take my image, enlarge it a bit and just pop it here. This time we can grab the eraser and you can leave the purple glow in there. Simply use this prompt and actually generate an image and simply adjust it. And of course, even after generating the image, you can continue to make as many adjustments as you wish. Now, we can also go through image to image and then sketch the image. We can grab all this stuff and just kind of move it wherever we wish. And let's say we wish to import an image. We can import an image which I've generated in another program like Midjourney. And remember, you can use a combination of all these other platforms to use their tools and really make some unique AI art yourself. And now let's also check out Sketch to Image. If I take this sketch here and maybe add a little bit of green, 
and make it a big green blob, well, now we're trying to make a weird looking frog. It's a pretty craps frog, but because I have sketched image on, I'm going to see what results we get from this crappy sketch. It's pretty interesting how we can use a sketched image option instead of just text prompts or image uploads. Let's go to automatic masking now, override defaults and just leave it at whatever, and make sure we've still got Dream Shaper selected. And then now click generate. So if we see that we've typed frog, it actually popped a frog where, where I've drawn it. The, it kind of fixed the pose a bit more, but the frog is looking a little bit messed up. Remember, you don't have to stick with this result, and you can experiment as much as you want to. So let's move and edit our Dream Shaper settings and zoom out a little bit. We can select custom models and look, look for some cute characters. We can generate that with this model, and now we can make even more cartoony stylized images. Also, if you choose to import an image where you can upload an image from your computer, I've got this photo here. I can move it away and change my viewport to over the face. You can play with a lot of these facial features and do all these sketches yet again. I can draw a mustache and a little bit of facial hair here, which looks pretty ordinary. And if we type in the prompt facial hair, we can change this image from this into uh, something else. Now remember, we're going to be using stable Fusion XL.9 to generate this model. So you can see it's generated some nice looking images from our sketch. We can stick with this or feel free to experiment as much as you wish. And you can even type other prompts here to see what we can come up with. Remember, feel free to just sketch and type in any prompt you wish to experiment and see how the algorithm program will affect your prompts and images. It can be a very powerful feature to play with and a lot of fun when making your images. Now let's also try image to image. We can simply generate a certain prompt like here, hit generate, and as you can see, it has referenced the original image as a layout for the new image that to be generated. And it's not too bad, really. It's a weird state, but you get the idea of using these image to image, sketch to image, etc. options. So remember, if you wish to use Control Net as well, make sure to clear your canvas completely and use a model that works with standard Fusion 1.5. Remember, Dream Shaper version 7 can do that. You can also check by going to your home page and check under fine tune models. You can check and open up a model, show you the base model, and make sure it has to be version 1.5 to work with standard Fusion 1.5. Remember, you have to keep Alchemy turned off since Alchemy will disable that option. Here, you can also see post image, which will replicate a pose into another image or edged image. What the AI will do, it'll try to detect the edges of an image and recreate within those edges. And also, there's even an option for depth to image, where if your image has a lot of depth, you can work with that with layers. If you check edge to image, you can put the control net weight all the way up here and resize the window to fit the prompt that you wish to use. Simply hit generate, and as you can see, it'll produce a picture of our generated prompt with a bunch of other options. It's crazy how it can detect all these different shapes and lines within the edge. And it can even fill in all the selection of the edges that you've chosen. By using this option, it's really cool how it's essentially the same photo, except recolored. Now, we've covered a lot of ground here with using image to image, depth to image, and edge to image options for editing our AI generated images on Leonardo AI 2.0. There are literally a ton more options and other different features that you can use. Feel free to play around with all these new features that Leonardo's AI Canvas 2.0 has offered for us. And that's all the time we have for this video. If you have any other questions, inquiries, or concerns, or just want to discuss all these new features of Leonardo AI, feel free to start a conversation down in the comments below. As always, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Thank you so much again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.